It's time! Well, you had to feel good for the action man, Chris Curtis, when he finally signed with the UFC in 2021. Some doubt had started to creep in, right? He was 26 and eight at the time, but clearly the action man, Chris Curtis, belongs in the big show. Well-rounded player, undeniable power in both of his hands. Great striking defense as well. There have been some weird circumstances in his career, the Kelvin Gastelum fight, but ultimately Chris Curtis believes he's one of the best middleweights in the world. Most of his peers will leave in that statement as well. Now's the chance to prove it. We'll see what Curtis does. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Great block there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Oh, that kick. I 
inside there by the champ. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Pretty pinpoint left hand right there. Now mixing one into the body. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the king of combat, Chris Curtis. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively this one. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Wow! Ooh, big shot lands. Big punch lands. Ooh. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. About to break. Now touches him with the left. Great job setting up that high kick. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Two minutes to go. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Great body kick there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice hook there by Curtis. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the king of combat, Chris Curtis. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Under a minute now to go in the round. Good defense blocking that punch. He's got that jab working, nicely done. Lands the overhand right. Straight right hand, no good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And that one certainly found the target. Immediately gets the underhook. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Second oh, round, oh. straight ahead. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. 
Curtis gets caught by the inside leg. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice kick. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Stuff to take down, no problem. Lee gets back up. Good was that combo. He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Stay aggressive. Just over three minutes to go in round two. He lands a solid punch there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Curtis gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. It got checked. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, effective use of the jab by Curtis. There's the elbow. Just out of the range with that right hand. in the engagement there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Curtis, his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Oh, left hook. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Big ground and pound. Big right hook there by Tim. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Final seconds. Oh, Rogan, you love that wheel kick. Landed there. Wow. Ten minutes it's in the up. books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight? Ready. 
All oh. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice straight right lance. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice combo right here. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Chris Curtis is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Don't stop, don't stop. Nice kick landed there by Lee. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Stay on that cut for me. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Nice body shot. Eats a jab there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Nice kick to the body. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Curtis gets tattooed by that straight punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice straight punch there by the king of combat, Chris Curtis. Takedown defense holds up. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. That cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Keeping busy now. Connecting with those punches. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually. Oh, my God. Oh. Reversal to top position by Curtis. Come on, guys, come on. Vision. 
could become an issue when that left eye is starting to close. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship events? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Changes his stance. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Lee. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Push kick there to the body. Overhand attempt now is blocked by the action man, Chris Curtis. All right now, touches him with the left. Oh, misses with the jab. Side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Curtis. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Side kick, well placed. Cardio looks great, he's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring it there with a couple big strikes. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Another punch lands and that gets a pop from the crowd. Look at the turtles in that kick. Oh, a nice straight there by Curtis. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you... Oh, we're getting the finish here. Kick looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Curtis. 
Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Oh! Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish that. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Every time he's in the zone, it feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. 20 seconds to go. Curtis has been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Final seconds here. Oh. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Big power shot there. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Oh, and he found the target again. Curtis is really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, the jab counter came, perhaps it was telegraphed a little bit. Nice job getting up to block it by the king of combat, Chris Curtis. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut, getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood pouring out. Yeah, but you know, sometimes you got guys that cut easily. You think the Diaz brothers, this guy gets cut, but it doesn't seem to be deterring him. He's still trying to fight, but he's got to make some changes. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Curtis gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Watch knees to the body. Well, I'm no analyst, but this fighter is completely out of gas, hasn't managed his tank well at all, and to compound matters, he's getting cooked on the scorecards. Too. I mean, he is getting out class right now. He's tired, he's beat, his mind is starting to go too. This is not a good prediction for this fighter. Control now. The action man Chris Curtis is in half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission. Oh, big ground and pop. Oh. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards, go forward. Make him fight you. Misses again with a right punch. That'll do it! Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh my goodness, what a fight.
we go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? 